So this is our problem number one for the topic of moment of inertia of geometric shapes under chapter 7 of statics of rigid bodies. Determine the moment of inertia of the shaded area with respect to x-axis. So ang, ano lang, ang pinapahanap lang dito ay yung moment of inertia with respect to x-axis. So gawin na nga naman natin, uh, lagyan na rin natin ng ano, uh, moment of inertia of the shaded area with respect to y-axis. So let's say ang ating y-axis ay andito. Yan. Okay? So this is our y-axis. So kunin natin lahat yan. So, okay, di ba? Uh, sabi ko sa inyo, yung ating moment of inertia is, or yung mas magandang gamitin na equation for moment of inertia is yung ating transfer formula. So, i-recall lang natin ang ating, ano, ang ating equation for transfer formula. Let's say, Ix, okay? Ix is equivalent to Ix bar plus area multiplied by d squared. And ganun rin ang ating Iy. So, ang ating Iy is equivalent to Iy bar plus a d squared. Yan. Okay? So, kapag sinabi natin Ix bar and Iy bar, Ito yung mga ano, mga um, moment of inertia niya or moment of inertia ng isang shape with respect to its centroids or centroidal axis. So once na yung ating ano, uh, centroids ng isang area ay wala sa overall uh, centroidal axis ng buong area, ibig sabihin doon tayo gagamit ang transfer formula na kung saan kinukuha natin yung area ng shaded area na yon or ng per area, then imumultiply natin yung distance, okay, yung letter D, distance ng ating centroids dun sa overall centroidal axis. So, kung titignan natin yung ating figure dito, nasaan nga ba ang overall centroidal axis nito? So, syempre, yung ating shaded area kasi is ito. Then, yung ating ano, um, space or void is nasa gitna lang din. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating centroidal axis ay nasa gitna lang din, hindi ba? So, nasa 75 mm with respect to x-axis and uh, 50 millimeters from the y-axis. So, andito yung ating ano, centroidal axis. Ayan. So, sa madaling salita, hindi natin kailangan pang ilocate yung kanyang x-bar and y-bar. Kasi simple, okay, ito na yung kanyang x-bar which is equivalent to 50 millimeters. Obvious naman kasi nakamirror lang naman siya, hindi ba? So, dito sa, ano, sa left and right side, naka-mirror, ganun din yung ano, um, upper and lower side. Di ba? So, yung ating 75 millimeters ito na yung kanyang Y-bar. So, no need na uh, mag-solve tayo ng X-bar and Y-bar using uh, Varignon's Theorem. Okay? So, ngayon naman, uh, ang pinapahanap na yung moment of inertia with respect to X-axis and Y-axis. So, since ang centroids ng rectangle ay nandito, at wala siya sa x-axis, at wala rin siya sa y-axis, ibig sabihin, gagamit tayo ng transfer formula. Ganon din yung circle. Ang circle, dito rin yung centroids niya, hindi ba? Wala rin sa x-axis, wala rin sa y-axis. Kaya nga, itatransfer natin papunta sa y, and papunta sa x. Kaya nga, transfer formula. Okay? So, yun lang yung gagawin natin. So, game. Um, kagaya rin sa ating, ano, uh, Varignon's Theorem, Ima-minus natin yung mga area na kailangan nating i-minus depende kung paano yung figure natin. So sa figure natin, ang shaded area ay ito. Okay, then ito yung ano circle. So ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung buong uh, moment of inertia ng rectangle, saka natin i-minus yung moment of inertia ng circle. Okay, with respect to x and with respect to y axis. So um game, kunin natin ang area 1. Okay, ang area 1 natin ay 100. Uh, yes, ang ating area 1 is yung rectangle. Then, ang ating area 2, ito. And, so, ang ating area 2 is yung circle. So, area 1 is 100 multiplied by 75. 75, this is 150. So, 150. So, 100 times 150, that is uh, 15,000. Ano ba ang unit natin? Millimeter. Okay. So, millimeter squared. Then, okay. Kunin natin yung ano, D1. Okay. Or DX. Oh, yes. Uh, D1X. Okay. 
So, ang ano niya, ang distance ng centroids ng ating area 1 from y-axis is 50 millimeters. Tapos, yung ating d1, y. Okay? Okay, with respect to x-axis is 75 millimeters. So, alalahanin ninyo ha. Ang gagamitin natin para sa ix is yung dy. Tapos para naman sa iy, yung dx. Bakit? Kasi yung distance, okay? Itong d1x, yung 50 millimeters, ito yung distance ng centroids with respect to y. So, ito yung gagamitin natin para sa ating iy. Okay? Ganda naman dy1y. Ito yun, yung 75 millimeters. Ito yung distance ng centroids with respect to x-axis. Okay, yun yung gagamitin natin para sa ating ix. So, huwag kayo mapapalito dun. Okay, so meron tayong area 1. So, solve naman natin yung ating area 2. This is a circle. Ang radius niya is 25. So, that is pi r squared. Ayan. So, 25 squared na lang. Ayan. So, 625. So, 625 pi millimeter squared. Then, ang ating D2X, okay, so pares lang yan, hindi ba? So, 50 millimeters. Then, ang ating D2Y is equivalent to 75 millimeters. Yan. So, kunin na natin yung ating IX. IX is equivalent to IX bar plus area D squared. Or simply, ang ating ix is equivalent to ix1 minus, sorry, okay, ix2. Lagyan natin dito. So, kunin natin ang ix1. Ang ix1 is equivalent to ix1 bar plus area 1, okay, multiplied by d1y squared. So, this is equivalent to, ano ba ang ix bar ng, ano, ng area 1? This is a rectangle, di ba? Ang ix bar niya sa table is um, bh cube over 12. So, ang base natin, since ang ating, ano, uh, yes, ito ha. Okay, take note to ha. Since ang ating rectangle ay nakaganito, at ang kinukuha natin is ix, okay, dito sa x, ibig sabihin, lahat ang nakahiga para sa x, yun yung base. Lahat ang nakatayo, okay, yun naman ang height. Uh, take note natin yun. So, mamaya marirealize nyo yun kapag nagpunta na tayo sa Y. So, doon sa IX. So, ang base niya is, uh, sulat na rin natin, BH cube over 12. Then, plus area 1. Then, D1YX. So, base, ang base natin is 100. Ang height natin is 150 cube, then over 12, plus area 1. Ang area 1 natin ay 15,000. Then, ang D1Y natin is 75. Then, squared. So, this is our IX1. So, 100 multiplied by 150 cube over 12 plus area, which is 15,000. Multiplied by D11X, ah, uh, D1, D1Y, okay? So, 75 squared. So, uh, sanayin ninyo sa moment of inertia, gamitan nyo ng uh, engineering, ano, uh, engineering format, okay? So, N, engineering format. Then, kadalasan ang nilalabas naman ito is times 10 raised to 6. Kasi kapag nag, ano kayo, nagpunta kayo ng higher, ano, higher subjects such as, Strength of materials, structural theory, steel design, RC. Yung mga moment of inertia kasi doon is laging naka times 10, raised to 6. So, naka scientific notation na siya. So, sanayin ninyo sa moment of inertia is laging ganito ang format. So, ang IX1 natin is 112.5 times 10 raised to 6. So, 112.5 times 10 raised to 6. So, lahat yan naka millimeters, no? So, this is cube, then this is... Uh, so, millimeter cube, then this is millimeter. So, millimeter to the fourth. This is area. Okay, this is millimeter squared. Then this is, ano, ano naka to 2. So, millimeter squared din yun. So, this is millimeter to the fourth. Ganyan lagi ang, ano, ang, tawag rito, unit ng um, moment of inertia. 
Next, yun namang ating ix2. Ang ating ix2 is equivalent to ix2 bar plus area 2 multiplied by d2y squared. So, ix2 is equivalent to, um, this is circle. Ano ba ang, ano, ang ix, yes, ix bar ng circle. Okay, so check natin sa table. Okay, ayan. So, meron akong ano, um, na-search na table para sa moment of inertia. Okay, so ito yung moment of inertia of common geometric shapes. Ito naman mas moment of inertia. So, hindi pa tayo dito. Okay, dito muna tayo sa geometric shape lang. So, ito yung rectangle. This is what, uh, B is cube over 12. Ayan, no? Okay, so IX bar. Okay? So, with respect to centroidal axis. So, nakalagay rito ang y, uh, y prime and X prime is yung centroidal axis. So, kung babalikan natin ng centroids, ang ginagamit naman na rin dito is yung y sub o and x sub o. Parehas lang yan, yung ating y prime and x prime. So, para sa circle, ang i x bar and i y bar niya is parehas lang. Kasi, syempre, uh, ha, uh, symmetrical lang naman yan, di ba? Sa right side and left side and upper and lower side. So, kaya yung ating i x bar and i y bar is parehas. So, this is pi r, uh, pi r raised to 4 over 4. Okay? So, yun yung ating ano. Um, I x bar. Okay? So, pi r raised to 4 over 4. Then, plus area 2, dy2, y squared. So, yung ating um, I x 2 is equivalent to pi multiplied by radius. Ang radius natin ay 25 raised to 4 over 4. Plus area 2, which is equivalent to 6 to 5 pi multiplied by dy2, uh, d2y which is 75. Okay, so squared. So, this is our ix2. So, pi multiplied by 25 raised to 4 over 4. Oops. Okay, over 4 plus area, which is 625 times pi multiplied by 75 squared. Okay. So, 11.35 times 10 raised to 6. 11.35 times 10 raised to 6. Millimeter to the fourth. Okay? So, makukuha natin yung ating IX. So, IX is equivalent to okay, 112.5 uh, times 10 raised to 6 minus 11.35 times 10 raised to 6. So, this is our IX. So, 112.5 minus 11.35. O, di ba mas madali na lamang ano, um, mag-compute or mag-calculate sa calculator natin kahit hindi natin ilagay yung times 10 raised to 6 kasi paras naman sila naka times 10 raised to 6. So, yung whole number na lang yung kunin natin. So, 112.5 minus 11.35. So, 101.15. So, 101.15 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Yan. So, this is our IX. Next, yung IY naman. So, ganun pa rin ang ating IY nyan. Uh, okay, yung I, IY1 is equivalent to IY1 bar plus area 1 D1X squared. So, ganun pa rin naman yan. Okay, yung ating IY bar is BH cubed over 12. Pero since ang ating IY ito, okay, is nakatayo, okay? Kung ano yan, kung i-rotate natin, kasi with respect to Y na tayo eh. Kung i-rotate natin to, which is ayaw dito, okay? Kung i-rotate natin yan, ang mangyari, ito na yung ating ano, Y. Then ito yung ating rectangle, hindi ba? Then ito yung ating um, X bar. Okay? Ayan. So with respect to Y, Lahat ng nakahiga kay Y, yun yung magiging base. Lahat ng nakatayo kay Y, yun yung magiging height niya. Okay? Or kung mas malalim pang ano, ter, uh, term, kumare sa x-axis kanina, ito, sa BH cube over 12, lahat ng parallel kay X, siya yung base. Lahat ng perpendicular kay X, siya yung height. So, perpendicular, ibig sabihin 90 degrees. Ayan. Parallel, ibig sabihin, um, hindi sila nagtutugma. Or, I mean, hindi sila mag intersect Okay? So, nakaparallel to, yung 100, kaya siya yung base. Ayan. 
Then, naka-perpendicular naman yung 150, kaya siya yung kanyang height. So, kung doon naman sa y, lahat ng parallel kay y, siya yung base. Lahat ng perpendicular kay y, siya yung magiging height. Okay? So, kahit hindi nyo na-drawing to ng ganito, para at least hindi aksayado sa oras. ba? Diba? So, dapat, marunong nga yung tumingin. O, dito sa y, lahat ng parallel sa kanya, sino naka-parallel sa kanya? Yung 150. Kaya siya yung base. So, base natin is 150. Lahat ng ano uh, perpendicular sa kanya, yun yung height. So, ang perpendicular sa kanya ay 100. So, so sa, siya ngayon yung magiging height, yung 100. Then, over 12. Okay? Then, para sa pare ng area, ang area natin ay 15,000. Pero, magbabago na yung ating uh, D. So, hindi na natin is D1X. So, that is 50. Then, squared. So, I1, uh, IY1. So, 150 times 100 cubed over 12. Plus, area, 15,000, multiplied by um, 50 squared. Okay, so 50 times 10 raised to 6. Millimeter to the fourth. Next, yung atin naman, IY2 is equivalent to IY2 bar plus area 2 D2X squared. So, this is um, IY2. Parehas lang sila, di ba? Pi R4, uh, pi, ray, uh, pi R raised to 4 over 4. So, ang pi natin, okay, so pi multiplied by 25 uh, raised to 4 over 4. Area is 625 pi pa rin. Then, magbabago lang yung D. Okay, magiging na siyang 50 squared. So, balikan natin yung history ng ating calculation. Nasaan yung computation na yun? Ito. Okay. Then, pata natin tong 75 ng 50. So, this is 5.22. So, I, Y2 is equivalent to 5.22 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Yan. So, yung ating ano, um, i, y is equivalent to i, y1 minus i, y2. So, 50 minus 5.22. So, 44.78. So, 44.78 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, huwag nyo lang kakalimutan yung sinabi ko kanina na Kung sino nga yung ano, uh, parallel do sa axis na kinukuha na natin ng moment of inertia, siya yung magiging base. So, sino, kung sino naman yung ano, perpendicular with respect to the axis kung saan natin kinukuha yung moment of inertia, yun yung ating height. Okay? So, yan. Nakuha na natin yung IX and IY. So, this is our uh, example number one for moment of inertia of geometric shape. So, thank you for watching. Bye!